Luke here, back with my TJ Wrangler once again. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your cam sensor, which is hiding inside your distributor cap. Alright guys, cam sensor is located inside the distributor cap. There's a one Phillips head screw here, one on the opposite side. And first of all, we've got to unplug this. I've already unplugged it a little bit to the back there. There, that's your actual cam sensor. A little clip over plug. You can see that. And it just pulls out, it wraps around the distributor. I've already loosened off the distributor cap. So, a little trick that I've learned is instead of disconnecting every single spark plug lead, if you just take the one off the back of the ignition coil down here on the right hand side, this little short one, right, after you undo these two Phillips heads on either side of the distributor cap, you can lift this distributor cap up and you can sort of hold it out of your way. Now I'm holding it out of the way just with my thumb and my right hand and with my left hand and two fingers underneath the uh, rotor button. Slide straight up. Alright, uh, cam sensor just sits just here. This, that's it there, right there. There's the sensor. Now I've already taken this out the other day and it was really seized on there and this is the one that I believe is broken and when I've taken it off I've actually cracked it because this side here is, goes down like a metal sleeve. I'll take this little bit off here. This was, off, was supposed to be one piece and then this here wraps around the back. So that's my old cam sensor which is obviously in a bad, bad shape. Now here we have my brand new cam sensor. Now this obviously just reverse the procedure. Wire wraps around the back of the distributor. There's a little locating tab there. Now that will push straight down into place. Like so. Just one's into place. I'm just wrapping that cord around the back. See if it's as much slack as I got. I don't know, I'll put it back in between the two clips. There we go. That's a bit better. And now the rotor button can go back into place. It's got a little, little one, one way it sort of goes in. A little locator on it as well. Make sure that's lined up. Flip your distributor cap back over. Do up the two screws. So make sure it's lined up. Now we're hoping that this gets rid of it. Just going to plug in. Yeah, buddy. He's coming. <laughs> okay. Let's go unplug in at the back there. Both screws are tightened up on the distributor. Move this hose back where it was. Well, she's running, but it seems to be a bit all over the place. Got it hooked up to the battery charger as well. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.